About the time you were ready to cross 6th and A, this a huge explosion, just it was just in two tiers, it was a kaboom, kaboom, like that, and it was just large. And we couldn't imagine what in the world happened, but we knew it was pretty serious. The smoke and the, uh, the burning and, and everything was so, so dense that you could hardly see uh, down the street. It, it looked like a bombed out picture that you would see in a movie from World War II. It's like a war. It's terrible. And uh, a, a lot of people who you didn't even really know were, were killed. When I walked around the corner and smelled the cordite, gunpowder, and all that, I said, my God, I'm back in Korea. It looked like somebody dropped a 500-pound bomb right on Main Street. We had 127 buildings that were damaged. We had 41 people who were killed. That's a lot of people killed in, in one small area. It was a sad day for the city of Richmond, and yet at the same time, I must say that it was a day that showed uh, the type of people that were in, involved in our community at that time. In some of the pictures that were taken where people were, were the black kids and the white kids, the young men fighting to hold down the fire hose, not, they weren't fighting each other, they were trying to do the same thing, put out the fire. The ambulance doors went up and here came patients and they just came several at once, they came by cars. They came in just many different ways of transportation. It was noisy and it was busy and the halls were crowded and people were pushing through and needing to get through because somebody needed to go to x-ray and another person needed to be typed and cross-matched for blood. But it was nothing like the ER that you see on TV. It's hearing people cry, hearing people pray, hearing people asking about their loved ones or finding out about their loved ones. Of course, what happened was, should never have happened, never have happened. 